this is a, is a local dish loved by many. Oh, I just literally cut the whole entire pork chop with my spoon. And you know what? I might get some dessert. So be a dessert. Yeah, yeah. And literally, I smelt it from here on my bike, and that's that's how that's how every, the video came to be. I just ate everything, so I yep. smelt it like that. Okay, right there. So I literally just came here randomly after Bung Ba Hui. It's a little, it's a little different for you. I'm gonna eat some gum gum. This, I was attracted to this because of this. This is a good marketing plan where you grill all the marinated pork and you blow it into the streets of Vietnam and then I smelt it and then I stopped on my bike. I made a whole U-turn. I made a whole U-turn and I parked over there and now I'm sitting on a kid's chair. I'm a grown ass man sitting on a plastic chair and I'm gonna eat all this and I don't even know how much this costs. This kid's working, he's working. This kid is working. It's a family owned business. Mm -hmm. This is where they cook everything, bring out the food. Now this is gum tam, which is a broken rice dish with grilled pork, egg, shredded pork, and the magical, magical fish sauce with the green scallions and the scallion oil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The secret to this dish, rice dish, is the fish sauce. You got, so you got the egg, you got the fried egg right here. You got the fried egg, you got the gum tam, which is the rice. You got the grilled pork. You got the gr grilled pork. You got the assortment of vegetables. You got the rice. You got the rice right here. That is local food. That is local food, guys. That is local food right there. So definitely, you got some Chinese pork sausage, you got some grilled pork, you got some shredded shredded pork as well. You got the broken rice, which is a different type of grain. It's not actually broken, it's just the different type of grain. And this is the fish sauce. This is called the nook mum, you know, all over the rice. We call this the nook mum. If you get your if you get yourself a Vietnamese girlfriend, she is your nook mommy, your nook, your nook sugar mommy. So that's what it is. I wish I had a knife to cut the... Oh, yeah. Oh, I wish, I just said that I wish I had a knife to cut the meat, but I, I'm literally cutting it with my spoon. That's how tender it is. Like literally, I just cut the whole entire... Yo, I just literally cut the whole entire pork chop with my spoon. That's how you know. That's how you know. You know, as a kid, as a kid, I just used the, I take the end of this. Mm. 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 Now, there's bones like this. I like a runny egg, so I usually burp. So my trick is I usually spread the egg around. I spread the egg around, mix it with the rice. And that's what it is. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is, but eating grilled Vietnamese meat, I don't know what it is. It's the char, it's the charcoal crispiness at the ends. I like it the most. It has a little bit of fat, the smokiness, a little bit of fat, a little bit of charcoal, and a little bit of the burnt ends. You know who also like this? My puppy. Again. Yep. My dog likes Vietnamese food, like straight up. 
I just found this randomly on the street. I literally found it randomly on the street. It was not planned. You smelt it. I smelt it. The charcoal meat. I went in, pulled over, just said yes, yes. Got the food. That's it. I don't know how much it costs. I'll find out right now. I'll find out right now. Wow, he's basically said, like, saying that a lot of it, a lot of the items are sold out. This is that popular. That's what he's saying. Mm. The meat is sweet. It's charcoal, barbecue. The stringy thing is shredded pork or pork floss. No, no, not pork floss. Sorry, it's shredded pork. Shredded pork. That's called pork. Yeah. It's called the be that. Yeah, sure the pork. Sure the pork only goes well with fish sauce and rice. If you eat it by itself, it just tastes dry. Vietnamese cuisine is basically the harmony and the assembly. It's different ingredients that come together. That's what it is. I actually don't know how much this costs. I actually just asked him for everything. I don't really know. I said yes, so... I actually don't know how much it costs. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'll give this. Because it's comfort food, I still give this a straight 7 out of 10. 7.5 maybe. And the only reason why is... No complaints, really. It's the strongest 7.5. It's a contender. I like beef with this. Oh, I just got bit. Ow. A bit of a mosquito. Okay. I, like I saw it come out here, I flicked it off, but it bit me before I flicked it off. I'm back in Vietnam, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a crazy hustle and bustle, continuous going in and moving out, going in. People come here, they come eat, they go move. They don't sit and relax, they go in, go out, go to the next thing. People can go in, Grab a plate of food, go to the next thing, get some dessert, go to the next thing. And you know what? I might get some dessert. So I'm get dessert. Yeah. Yeah. This is as local as you can get. Local as you can get. Sitting on plastic chairs. I know you've seen it when you go to Ho Chi Minh City. I know you've seen it. So, I have no space. I'm not gonna put it on the table. I'm gonna put them on my leg. So, definitely, when we're talking about comfort food, I grew up with this food. So, every like Saturday or Sunday, lunchtime, this will be it. This is comfort food for me. Growing up, if you have an assortment of meats, eggs, pork, grilled meat onto a plate of rice. What combines everything together is the fish sauce. Now, the fish sauce is not fishy. It's not like when you see a, when you see a fish in water, it smells like seafood water, like seawater. That's not what it is. A lot of people are scared of that. You can taste the charcoal. You can taste the barbecue, the barbecue-ness, if you will. The egg blends everything together. The runny yolk, you wash it down, with cold jasmine tea. Mm -hmm. Now this right here, this, you might be asking, what is this? It's kind of like a egg meatloaf, like an egg loaf. Vietnamese egg, steamed egg, egg loaf. It's a mixture of like things you naturally see in, a, in spring rolls, but like it's like an egg meatloaf. It's a combination of meat, vegetables, a little bit, mushrooms, and like, and like eggs. Mm. Yeah, it's like an egg meatloaf. So with the, with the taste, what the taste is in this is basically like, imagine spring, uh, Vietnamese fried spring rolls without the, without the fried crunch. That's what it tastes like. In my opinion, anyways. So the fastest way for you guys to experience the local culture of Vietnam is to pick a restaurant that smells good on the outside, like I did, and then if they sit outside, 
in a plastic chairs like this, just sit down and they will welcome you. Basically, when I drove on the motorbike, the, the barbecue smell made me stop. And you know what? Even you said, yo, it smells good. Mm -hmm. mm. This smell on the road is the essence of Vietnam. Charcoal grilled, grilled meat on the street. Oh, man. And this right here is the grilled perfection right here. The Chinese pork sausage, it tastes good. It's sweet, it's chewy, it's part of every single Asian cuisine. The Chinese pork sausage, this right here, the Chinese pork sausage right here is grilled. It is the base of all Asian meat that you have on rice. Anyone who is Asian does not matter. Your Burmese, Singapore, your Singaporean, Korean, Vietnamese, Chinese, it does not matter. You've eaten this before. You've eaten this before. Lap chung in Cantonese, but we call it lap sung in the Vietnamese. Very similar. You already know it's the same thing. This restaurant is only sells gum tam, only. So you already know when one restaurant sells only one type of thing and it's packed, and it's packed, you already know. That's what you need to order. And they know what they're doing. Final bite, final bite of the day. I mean, of the night. Mm. There's something with grilled meat and rice and fish sauce. Get that harmony. All right, everybody. That for two for two plates of everything on it and two iced teas. That was two thirty. Two thirty is about thirteen bucks. So definitely very very affordable. Dinner for two is only thirteen dollars. So yeah. Definitely a strong 7.5 out of 10. In my opinion, this is comfort food to me. So definitely, if you want to try gum tam, you can try gum tam over here. Literally different, different. Literally, there's an outside restaurant right there. You can literally see everything that they're making. And you know it's fresh because the guy who's grilling it is grilling next to the table that you're eating on. So definitely give Vietnamese gum tam a try. And I will see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Much love, peace. Puppies. More puppies. More puppies. More puppies. More puppies. As you can see, it's sizzling hot, piping hot, and you can add some herbs. You're gonna add some beet sprouts, even, and they have a cold tea to wash.